Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Rogue Legacy. In the last episode we died and uh, we played as Sir Culp, the useless barbarian. Uh, he didn't kill anyone. But today we are going to play as Lady Winry, who has a beard. She is a mage and she is quick and she has no foot pulse. And what no foot pulse means is... Um, in the last episode, if you saw that there are those, like, uh, spike trap kind of thing. My foot is asleep. Those spike traps, um, they don't, uh, those traps only test to see if you have a pulse. And if you don't have a pulse in your feet, they don't extend and stab you in your feet, so. Okay, let's try to grab them and jump. Oh, come on, are you joking? Let's try to get rid of him. Well, I already died. <sighs> I really do need mobility runes. Okay, we need... Dun, 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 dun. The barbarian, or do we want... Actually, all these aren't really bad. Oh, this is a lady. Lady Chun-Li. You have trouble reading things. I want to show you dyslexia. So with the dyslexic trait, I wonder if it does it with this. No, it doesn't. Okay. With the dyslexic trait, I move so slowly. Look at this. Give... I don't even know his name. Gosh. Charon, all your money, and enter the castle. Building should be mixed up, but it's not. Now entering Castle Hussmusen. Look at that, already at 30 gold, and then I'm gonna die in the next room. So those are the foot traps that we wouldn't have gone to Whoa. Let's figure out a way to kill this guy. Oh gosh. Oh Jesus. It was the only way. Whoa. Maybe I can do this. Do it. Ah. Woo! Loads of money. That's all that's enough money. Upgrade our stuff. Let's get this zombie here so we can get this chest. Get out of my life. Do this. De Deal, Pavors. Band of Bears. Development time for. Minose, Relasi, whoa, that's a lot of ease. Release date, August 6th, 2009. This was our second game we ever attempted, and it was for the 2009. God, I don't know what that word is. Dul. Dil. Dil. Dale. Dale. I don't know. I don't know what word that would be. Contest. We found out about it pretty late, so we had to play catch up with everyone else. Uh, fresh off the success of DSYP, we decided to go big, stupidly big, and thus Cellador Games was formed. On top of a on top of starting a project well beyond our resources and expertise, we also juggled full-time jobs to get this game running. It was pretty skrr... It was pretty Pretty... I can't, I just can't do it. Sucky? Suck, is it, it was pr pretty sucky, is that the word? 
the game god this is so hard the game virtuated the bear system bear effort adaptable room system which would change rooms depending on the number of players playing the bear system didn't oh look at that apostrophe didn't just tweak numbers it tweaked puzzles as well we ended up in the top 20 which was good but not high enough to win anything <laughs> something something and uh eventually reality and common sense came back to us and we realized we had to scrap the project or in the very least put on indefinite hiatus the demo boss was pretty freaking cool well that was more trouble than it was worth cellar door game yeah so i didn't mention this in the last episode but this game is made by cellar door games um, it is on Steam, and uh, it is available off Steam if you don't use Steam. Um, for $15, it is DRM free, and the music is awesome. So pick it up. Um, woo! Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have anything else to say about the game. Other than it's really good, and you should pick it up if you... Even if I'm terrible at the game, doesn't mean you will be. Because some people are very good at this game, and I am not one of those people. Like, that is just not a room that I want to be in. I don't know how I made it anywhere. In... Like, I've played the game before, and I made it kind of far. I have to back up my save. What is it? Okay, we got a little bit more time. Let's see what we got. We can play as a guy who only sees in black and white. Or is that a woman? It's a woman. With a beard. I feel like the women have beards and the men don't have beards. It's like Vikings. Vikings. Um... Let's try this. I wonder how this will work. So that's, oh, we have enough, oh wow, we made a lot of money on that run. Okay, so we are gonna unlock the architect. Unlock the architect and gain the powers to lock down the castle. The architect can lock down a castle and prevent it from changing. So basically what this means is you can choose to replay a castle, let's say, kind of, and we're gonna unlock her. So what she will do is she's kind of like the blacksmith in a way. So you'll go there and enchant runes and stuff. We're actually going to level up our attack. And we have 190. I don't think that's enough to unlock anything. Oh, yes it is. Cool. New helmet. So, she'll just be like, Could I borrow your ear? I used to be a very powerful enchantress. But one day, the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. Well, it sucks for you. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it back to you at a profit. Yeah. Like, are you... So, she has these. So, I have one rune. Sprint rune. It's 175. I should have got that, actually. And I have a jump rune. It's basically the same as this. But what this guy will do here is, let's say I wanted to play that same castle that I was just in because there was a lot of cool stuff in it. I could. I just go to him. Greetings, boy. Boy, greetings, boy, 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 boy. Want to know a cool fact? I'm crazy. This lever here, with a simple pull, I can prevent the castle from changing. This way, you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed? You should be. How did I build this fantastic contraption? With the science, of course. With oh, and magic, mostly magic. But my skills aren't free. Oh, wow. This is a worse deal than before. Do you want to lock... Okay, so basically I skipped a thing. But basically what you can do is you can lock down the castle. And you only get 60% of the gold that you would normally get if you were playing it. So right now it's not really worth it. Because unless we really like that castle. So like basically if you had a really fast class. Look at that, we just got 100 gold from that. 
you could just sprint through the entire castle, uh, opening every room. And then, oh, double zombie, come on, man. You have a crit. And then you could just come back with, like, um, another class that has very high gold or something like that and take it out. This guy's single. You get to learn the mobs, which is very useful. Wait, can I not make that jump anymore? Oh, yes, I can. That's a safe spot. There we go. So let's try to take this guy out here. Go to the fires. I don't have a jump boost yet, so I have to be careful with what I do. Oh, okay, so you see right here, it's, um, you can see it's kind of like a lighter shade of gray, 50 shades of gray. You can drop through that if you press down, or I have quick drop on. So, if you press down, or down A, or, yeah, down A, or down X, depending on what controller you use, or I guess it would be, what is attacking this? No. Oh. What am I doing? I don't know what I was just doing, but I got a free chest with the blood cape. You see how this uh, chest has banding on it? It's got like the iron. That means it's better than a regular chest. Better than all you peon chests. They're like a jukebox. So with the jukebox, it's not really anything special, but you can change the song that is playing. I wish I knew what some of the songs were. So. This song sounds fine. Except that snare drum. <laughs> Broadside of a broadsword. This one's quiet. Oh, come on. If you get knocked into another room, it's kind of a waste of time because they, um. We kill you. No, they, uh. What is it called? They regain their health when you leave the room. Which is nice and bad. And it's almost been 15 minutes, so we're gonna do one more run, which will take me like 30 seconds. Sir Hornsby with the shock run. And, uh, one good thing about this. Let's raise our strength here. One good thing is you can test all your stuff. So if you look in the top left, I have my mana, right? If I. I can use my mana, see how it says minus 15, but I don't actually lose any mana. It is because um, it is for testing purposes. So you have unlimited mana when you're in this room here. But as soon as you enter the castle, you lose. So let's do one more run here before we end the episode. Before we end the episode. So we are going to try not to die. So we can have a long episode. So there's no zombies. When a, when a uh, enemy has projectiles, you kind of want to get as far away as you can. Because the projectiles spread out, and so it's a lot easier to uh, dodge them. That's the word I'm looking for here. Chicken leg! I don't know if that's worth it. Hey! I still haven't decided if this music is too loud. Journal entry number two. Although I'm the eldest child, I'm not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes will 
bow it. Bow? The other duke shall bow? It sounds weird. Bow as we pass. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. That's what's up. Bow. I feel like it should be bow, but I know it's not. I know it's bow, it just sounds weird in my brain. You can see here, it's, it's like grayed out. If I were a midget, or I guess a dwarf would be the politically correct term in this game, I could just walk through there and smack him. But I'm not. Come here, guy. Okay, let's see if we can find another chest. No jumping. I can't do it. Basically, what you're supposed to what you're supposed to do is go like here and then sprint, but I can't sprint because uh, excuse me, I haven't locked, I haven't unlocked it yet. So we're just gonna fight this Doomvis. Doomvis. There you go. We didn't get any gold, which is kind of sad. Doomvis. What? Doomvis. It has to be wind to an end here. I would like to thank you guys for watching, and, um, you know, if you enjoyed this episode here, if you enjoyed this episode here, come on, what? Uh, if you could like, subscribe, and or favorite, like, I prefer not to... to die. I prefer, I'm not a big favorite kind of guy because they made it a lot harder from the old YouTube. But that's for another day. Um, thank you guys for watching though. If you do enjoy this game, make sure to pick it up and try it out for yourself. It's $15 on Steam and on their website. I think the website is Rogue Legacy. Just Google it or look it up on Steam. Um, I guess we'll play as a giant next round. But um, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed this series and you want to make sure that you catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when I upload the next one, which I will probably have on some kind of schedule, so you'll see it. You'll, it's very easy to figure out my schedules most of the time. Um, 3.50... Five hundred, great. But um, again, for the third time, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.